Okay, so this is the new JS bin, and some people have been asking about how you can get the, um, the, the full uh, rendered output again, like we had on JS bin 2. So my normal view might be HTML, CSS, and the output here. So I've, I've divided my kind of screen real estate to three columns, which is fine for this kind of thing, but maybe you want a full column. Same way as we uh, used to have with um, version 2. Okay, so version 2, you had the code, you could render back and forth. Even though I've got the real time preview here, I can go back and forth here. Um, so, now um, we have this functionality inside of JSBin. Uh, let's get rid of our output. And uh, you, well, actually, just go back to the output. If you save and own a JSBin, um, there's this little arrow, it says live preview, which is the same as kind of linking to um, this, this, this URL, the share URL. Um, but the trick is making sure that you're working on the very latest copy. And to make sure, you just make a small edit. So let's um, let's do a small edit like this, and we can see that the version number is in incremented. So let's just pop this open in a new tab. Okay. So you can see the content here. Now let's um, let's change the background color uh, to hot pink, since that's all the rage nowadays. Okay. So you can see my live preview is updated. But also, the other tab is updated as well without me having to refresh manually. Um, now, this is the case, you can put this URL on any device, any other browser, you know, i.e. Opera. Um, I'm using Chrome in this case, but it can be any browser, it can be on any device, it can be someone else's machine, it will still work. Um, and I don't have to have the output here. I could be just using my, uh, my keyboard shortcuts to switch tabs. So I can do color is white, just check that. Yeah, that's updated, great. Font size equals 20px. Um, there we go, it's made it bigger. Um, so that's a little tip, that's what we call the live rendering. And the trick is making sure that you, you own the JSBin so you have right access to it at that time. Not particularly that you've created it in the past, but you, when you write to it, it's actually saving in real time. Um, I'm gonna work on making the UI better at telling you that, so that you know which is the latest version, how to work on it. Um, and the other thing that you could do here as well, if you're logged in, you can just do rem and last and bring up the very last one you're working on. So as you're coding here, um, let's make this 200, um, and that should have bumped the font. There. Um, yeah, it's still new, but yeah, you get the idea, okay? So um, have a play, hopefully that kind of answers some of the questions. Um, I am thinking about maybe introducing a keyboard shortcut that allows you to toggle between just the output and then going back to whatever panels, panels you had open. Um, drop uh, a comment on the issues uh, on GitHub if you uh, think this is a good idea, if it's useful, or if you don't think it's useful or if you have another idea. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Cheers.